What's up guys, it's Here's Johnny here with another video. Today I'll be showing you how to use three super simple methods to hide your loot and keep your base hidden using some sneaky good raft builds. Keep in mind that these can also be used on motorboats, but that'll probably draw more attention to you than desired, so I'd recommend against using those. The first method is a pretty well known strategy. All you have to do is build whatever you want on a raft and then put it in the mesh so that others can't see that there's anything on it unless they k-mode into the mesh. If you go with this method, I'd highly recommend only using a far corner of the raft and extend your base and structures off of that. Just place ceilings or giant hatch frames extending from a foundation or two, then place your structures. This method can be quite useful since you can actually place a tech rep down and hide it quite well. After your structures are placed, simply ride the raft into a rock or something and make sure that only the corner of it is within the mesh. Doing it this way instead of pushing it all the way in helps create the perception that there's nothing on the raft since others can see that most of it has nothing. But that corner with your important structures and loot is safely hidden in the mesh. Be careful with this method since it is quite well known and there are people that will check if you're hiding structures on it. And it's easy for anyone to destroy the raft on site since anything that can damage wood will be able to damage the raft. Method 2 makes it so that your hidden structures are even more hidden and harder for others to notice. I like to refer to this one as a submarine build. Here's how you build it. First place a foundation in the front center of your raft, then place a pillar on it and a ceiling extending out from that pillar. Now you can start placing walls down from that ceiling. You can go as far as you want, but my preference is to go as deep as it can go. Once you've gotten to your desired depth, place a ceiling inwards towards the raft and a pillar on top of it. Then place two more ceilings, one on each side. Now you can snap a foundation under each ceiling. We've now created the base of our submarine platform that you can build off of. Extend your flooring to your desired size. My preference is to build it outwards, away from the raft. You'll see why I do this in just a few minutes. Now that you've built your submarine platform, go ahead and demo the attached wall. This creates an interesting glitch where the bottom platform is not attached to the top of the raft in any way. It's now using only those foundations you placed for support. From this point, you're safe to demo the pillar and the rest of the walls and foundations above. Now your platform is just floating there underwater. It's a pretty insane glitch and I have no idea why this is still allowed in the game. Now you're free to slap down whatever structures you want on the submarine platform. But you do have quite a few limitations, cause it is underwater. A tech rep, fabricator, forges, fires, or anything electrical won't actually work down here. So this method is much more of a hidden storage option and not so much a hidden base option. As you can see, you can fit a ton of structures down here, but your best option is the smithy since it can hold 75 item slots. You can get enough space to store 1 to 2,000 item slots of storage if you build it right. Now that you've built your submarine, you're going to want to find a place to hide it. You could always pull up to a beach and hide it there, but beaches tend to be higher traffic areas and leaving it out in the open increases the chances that someone will find it and also has the desire to grief it. So a better option is to find a rock or some sort of mesh out in the water and hide it next to that. Here's a great example of a great spot. The way that I've built it has made it so that you can not only hide it in the ocean floor underneath, but also in any mesh that's in front of it. The way I'm able to place it here in this spot makes it so that there's not only one patch, but two patches of mesh that others would need to look through in order to see the structures underneath. So it's kind of hard to find the right angle. Most players would just check it real quick and then move on if they see nothing. So this is a pretty safe way to hide your loot. I'd say method 3 is the most unknown method on this list, and it doesn't rely on mesh or the ocean floor to hide your loot. So there's no way for someone to find your loot by k-moding. They'd have to know about this method already, or notice that there's something sketchy going on here. I like to call this the hidden compartments build. What you're going to want to do is place a bed or two on the raft so that you have a hidden spawning point. Now place a pillar at the front center of the raft, then snap a foundation to it. Then fill in the remaining foundations around it to create a 3x3 formation that covers the raft. Stone gives your raft a bit more protection since there's less things that can damage stone and it doesn't bring the bad attention that metal would bring. Someone would have to use explosives, tech items, an arthro, or tuso to break through, unless they want to take hours to break through with metal weapons. Now extend three ceilings off of the backside of the raft where the rudder is. This is where our hidden compartment will be built. Enclose the 3x1 area with a layer of walls and ceilings below. You have to extend it two walls down before you can place a ceiling. Then you can pick the extra wall back up. Now that our hidden compartment is in place, let's try to disguise it a lot better. We're going to want to extend out from the edges of our raft by placing one thatch ceiling on every edge. 
Now we're able to snap a foundation underneath each of the ceilings. Now that we've placed these, our hidden compartments look a bit more hidden in the center of our raft, but you can see our compartments sticking out a little, so it may still get noticed. To fix this even more, we can extend out ceilings from the compartments to cover the entire space under the raft. Now it's a bit harder for others to notice that there's something sketchy going on in there. Now feel free to go ahead and place all the structures that you want to use for crafting or storage. All you got to do is demo a ceiling to get in. You can fit four smithies and a handful of mortar and pestles, but my preference is to use three smithies and one feeding trough for keeping perishable items such as brews, food, and eggs. With all these structures, you have around 600 item slots to work with for storage. When you're done using your structures, simply cover it back up with a ceiling. Last but not least, let's apply some finishing touches. You may have noticed that the raft isn't completely flat on top, which may look a bit suspicious. Use the remaining structures you're allowed in order to flatten it out a bit by placing ceilings. In this build, I ran into the structures limit at this point, but this looks good enough to me. For someone to actually want to destroy this, they'd have to be insanely paranoid or just a total griefer. I personally wouldn't waste my time trying to destroy this if I didn't know about the method. And those are the three best ways to hide your loot in a raft. I hope you found this helpful, especially if you're a solo, duo, or smaller tribe, since I know it can be a struggle to survive when everyone else has a numbers advantage. I'd appreciate you leaving a like if you found this useful or interesting, and also make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the upcoming PvP tips and tricks I'll be releasing. I'll see you all in the next. Peace.